Children here in Singapore have a rather nasty little trick they can play on you. They take one of these things and they rub it hard on the ground, hard and fast, and then they plonk it on the back of your arm. And it's uh, very hot because that is the seed of the rubber tree. It's a bit like taking an India rubber, rubbing it hard on glass and plonking that on your arm. It's very warm indeed. The fact that they can do that though is because Singapore once played a very interesting role in the rubber industry. They were introduced, rubber trees that is, to Singapore and they were planted here in these Singapore Botanic Gardens a bit over a hundred years ago. None of the original trees exist but uh, over there is the child of one of them. The person who really pushed the cause of rubber here in the early 1900s was Henry Ridley. No one else believed in it much and he was known as Mad Ridley or Rubber Ridley but he kept on plugging away with the idea that rubber would be great someday. He even developed new ways of cutting the bark to let more latex out to make more rubber. Well, at about that time, the motor car was being developed, and in 1910, there was a rubber boom, because everyone needed rubber tyres for the cars, and Ridley was proved right. Rubber became an enormous industry here. There's not much produced here now, apart from for display purposes. It's done in Malaysia, and that's a huge producer of rubber. But even the Malaysian trees were descended from those grown originally in this botanic garden. Now the outside of a rubber tree doesn't give you many clues. It doesn't bounce if you hit it or anything dramatic like that. But these scars give you a, a certain clue as to what's going on. Over there is an old working. You can see the bark has largely healed over a lot of cuts that have been made there. These cuts are more recent. Old ones at the top, very recent ones down here, and yesterday's just here. To get rubber out of a tree, what you're really going for is the sap. So if you cut into this living bark just deeply enough, the sap comes up runs down this sloping groove as a white milky fluid called latex, drips off this spout here, you can see some congealed there, and it falls into this cup where it stays as a white milky fluid until it congeals. Well, this is how the cutting's done. Dripping latex is milky white and sticky to the touch. As it dries, it'll become hard and clearish brown. Now these are lumps of latex. They sit in the bottom of the bowl and they were tipped out on the ground. That's why they're blackish. But they still have a rubbery property because they've set. You can bounce them around. Now latex like this isn't terribly useful for rubber objects. It's not very hard wearing and it doesn't withstand heat. For industrial purposes, car tires amongst them, it has to be vulcanized and that's a rather specialized process. Still, Rubber starts like this, and every rubber object you see has begun life in this form. Mm -hmm. 